What is up everybody? Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru. Yeah, take two on the uh, <laughs> 500 sub Q&A episode, right? What is up guys? So I did this video, turned out horrible, really bad. So I figured I'd come back, do it again, try to be better. Try to be better. Uh, look, I just hit 500 subs uh, today, earlier today, and I made a promise to a lot of people that if I hit 500 subs, I'd do a quick Q&A. Um, the problem was it wasn't quick before, so we're going to try to speed it up, be quicker, be better, go. So, first of all, thank you guys. Thanks for all the people that have been supportive and subscribed and follow me and, and tweet me on Twitter and all that stuff. Like, I love you guys. Without you guys, I don't do this. That's the only compensation I get is the love and, and admiration of all you guys. So thank you so, so much. See it sincerely, bottom of my heart, thank you. First question comes from Holly Lake. So Holly, former co-host on the GeekCast, uh, we're gonna have you back very soon, I assure you. We're, we're gonna work that out, we're gonna make that happen. Yeah, so Holly asks, what was my biggest disappointment from Nintendo over the last whatever, um, based on video games, not consoles. And I would have to say Star Fox Zero. Star Fox Zero was supposed to be this huge epic game and I feel like for the most part, Nintendo let us down on that. They never gave us, they never promised us what they were supposed to give us. So that's pretty much it. Uh, she had a second question and that was basically, if I could hang out with any Nintendo character, any Nintendo character, who would it be? And I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm like, you know what? Why not be a Goomba? Why not meet a Goomba? Like everybody, everybody was talking about Mario and Luigi. Like I like to know what this guy. How does he feel about getting stomped all the time and getting whatever Pit? That would be my answer. Pit. I would want to meet Pit. I love Pit. That would be the way I would go. So I don't know. Goomba's going. Um, next question comes from Joel Brooks, and he said like between Peach, Daisy. And um, Rosalina, who would I like to see have their own standalone game? I would definitely say Rosalina because she is killer in Smash. She's awesome with, uh, you know, in, in, in Mario 3D Land or 3D World, sorry. Um, and she's kind of mysterious. She came out of nowhere. I'd like to see some adventures with her. That I would think would be the good one. That would be the way I'd like to see him go. So that would be awesome. Um, James Michael Lajowski. I think I said it right, James. I hope I said it right. Life of Gaming Podcast. Go check it out. And he's basically saying, with the craziness that happened with the new Zelda, like the open world and everything they created, where would I want to see them go with the next game? Do I want to see them go back to the old formulas or continue with the way they're going Breath of the Wild? I think you can't go back. I think... Now that Nintendo's moved forward, there is no going back to what they were. I think that they've created this this open world, this this epic adventure that you could do anything, you could go anywhere, you could be anything you want to be in the game within theory, you know what I mean? And um, I feel like that ultimately is where they need to keep the direction going. Now that said, I don't want to wait seven, eight years for my next Zelda game. So I think they need to go top down Zeldas up until that big epic one comes out. And I, and I don't know that those Zeldas even have to go back to that old formula of like this dungeon, this dungeon, this dungeon. I got eight pieces of Triforce, go. Um, I'd almost like to see them take the formula they created with Breath of the Wild and dump it into a top-down Zelda. Because Link Between Worlds was kind of where this all started. They kind of diversified from their original thing and went a different way. So that's, that's basically it. Um, last question comes from Jacob Rush. And Jacob said something like, when can we get rid of Animal Crossing and, and Fire Emblem? And, and you were on a podcast called Nintendo's Nostalgia? Anyway, one other thing. I got a letter in the mail. And I opened it a little while ago on my first take. Um, Amber, by early. By early. That's how she said to say it, by early. Because she wrote a nice little letter to me and Tony. Um, cute little drawings, little new leaf packages and stuff on it. Really cool. 
Thank you so much, Amber. But she gave me a bunch of Amiibo cards. So goes to show you, Jacob, Amiibo is not dead or Animal Crossing is not dead at all. I love Animal Crossing. I know a lot of people do. And that's actually how I met Amber years ago uh, playing City Folk on the Wii. Um, just randomly popped into her town one day and she had all these cool items. And I was like, can I be friends with you? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and that was it. We've been friends ever since. Cool, awesome woman, and uh, and that is all. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I promise you, after we hit 500 subs, the next phase I want to go six, seven, eight. Obviously, I think I'll do these these Q and A's every hundred or so. Um, they're not the greatest of entertainment and stuff. I think my ranting and stuff is a little bit more entertaining than anything. Um, but I, I kind of want to do this to kind of thank you guys and and more or less because it's the one time I get to take take a time out, slow down, stop what I'm doing, and thank you guys. Promise you more content's coming. I'm going to ramp it up. Now we're going to move forward. I'm going to keep pushing out more content, do a couple videos a week, um, back to the basics and stuff. So that is all. Follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at Nintendo Gurus. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button, hit the little bell, like the video, share it, please, because that's how I reach the 500 as it is, because the awesome people out there to keep sharing my video. So see you later.